I'm John here at C2E2. John here. Yeah. John there. Yeah. John with, everywhere. John yeah. there. I'm here Come with John. Bad Influence, here Christopher Mark. Daniels, and Kazarian, Frankie Kazarian. Good day to you. How are you guys enjoying the con so far? We are thrilled to be a part of it all. We're debuting our new comic book, Christopher Daniels and Kazarian Wrestle, All Yeah Comics. In fact, while you talk to Francois, what? I'm going to go get a copy so I can show these people what it looks like, and I'm going to doff my cap. Be right back. All right, sweet. Okay. Now, despite his reserved demeanor, uh, Chris actually is having a good time. You know, don't yeah. let that... Don't let that down personality of his fool you, but he actually is having a good time. So oh, that's good to hear. Yeah, see, hear. don't, yeah. Oh, here I am. And there it is. Oh, Look at that comic book. All right. How about that? There's that looks you. awesome. There's you. Look at hey. that grip he's got on the bear. No. That's a shoot, a shoot grip. grip. That's a shoot way. grip. He doesn't interlock his fingers. That's a butcher's grip. No one breaks the butcher's grip. Even in comic book form, I'm, I'm stiff and I'm sh and I'm protecting the business. So yeah. That's right. Oh, that, that's great, guys. Now I gotta gotta ask, since you guys are here with. Art Baltazar and yes, Franco and yes. everyone. How did you guys get in connection with him? Well, it's a very long story, which I'll be happy to tell you in a shortened okay. form, my good fellow, almost like the Cliff Notes. Okay, Art Baltazar and Franco are pro wrestling fans in addition to being pillars of society and inspiration to children everywhere. We ran into them at the San Diego Comic Con in 2011. They recognized us immediately. We also recognized them because they'd drawn Teen Titans, uh, Tiny Titans, uh, Superman Family Adventures. Uh, two years later, they started their own publishing company called All Yeah Comics. And uh, on a whim, on an unsolicited uh, uh, wacky thought in my head, I decided, what if? What if Christopher Daniels and Frankie Kazarian, the best tag team in the business, were to go to the Aw Yeah Comics universe and interact with Action Cat, an adventure bug, an awesome bear? And so I sent them the script that I wrote uh, on an email. I said, hey, would you gentlemen be interested, even slightly remotely interested, in putting this in comic book form? They responded with a hearty Aw Yeah, and a couple months later, ta-da, here you are. That, you know what? That's amazing. I gotta say, it's amazing. And Art even made you guys a shirt. He made us a bad shirt. influence shirt. He did indeed. Which, if I can go more into wrestling now, so the comic side. Please do. This is the wrestling I side. Guess. This is the comic <laughs> side. I guess. You guys. I mean, this is just the internet bus speaking. Okay. Your contracts are almost up with Impact Wrestling. That's only 50% true. 50% true? 50% because my okay. contract has already expired. I am okay. no longer with TNA Wrestling. Oh. And uh, I wish them the best in their future endeavors. Okay. Uh, but I have to I have to read the internet every day to, to uh, find out where I'm at contract-wise because it changes oh. every day. Yes. Oh, really? So, so yeah, so I'm actually, yeah, my, my next break, I'm going to go online and check out some sites to see what's going on in my career because it's always good to find out. Yes. Oh, nice. Because I don't know. Yeah. Well, like, my question is, like, do you guys... Have you guys heard of Jeff Jarrett's new promotion idea, Global Force Wrestling? I, I've heard rumblings and, and scrumblings of, of Uncle Jeff's uh, endeavor. And, uh, you know, when the world finds out more about Global Force Wrestling and what the plan is, I'm sure that's when we'll find out. But uh, Uncle Jeff and uh, Francois and myself, we have a very good relationship. And uh, if he wants the best tag team in the business, he knows where to find us. And uh, we know where to find him. I actually have his phone number. In oh, fact, really? I'll give it to you. No, I can't. No. I can't do it. Okay. I can't, no, do it. can't do it. Okay, fair enough, fair I enough. I'm going to, but... So, could it be inferred that Uncle Jeff has contacted you guys for an appearance or two, maybe? Uh, not even, it would, no, I'll tell you, I'll, nope. I'll flat out say it hasn't happened yet, but okay. I will also tell you that, like I said, Jeff Jarrett knows where we are, Jeff Jarrett knows what we can do, and if he decides that he wants the best team in the business to be part of the global force, okay. we're open to suggestions. But right now, no one's playing it closer to the vest than Jeff Jarrett. Okay. Uh, you know, there's, a, there's always a little bit of an announcement every week, uh, the yeah. hashtag, it's coming, hashtag, join the force. Uh, so you got to keep an eye on, on Twitter, on his internet, on GlobalForceWrestling.com. Just keep an eye out for him, and then, like I said, we'll all find out together. When Jeff is ready to reveal his plans, we'll all find out. Okay, that's good to know. And now I also got to ask, what's next for Bad Influence? I mean, are you guys going to try and go to another promotion, Ring of Honor, maybe a certain... Just, I don't know, just understand or, this. Uh, the wrestling world does not revolve around TNA. Right. And so now that we're 50% free of TNA and the other 50% mm -hmm. is still contractually obliged, we're looking for what's happening. We're open to suggestions, but we haven't stopped wrestling. We haven't right. stopped being the best tag team in the business. 
and we will continue to make waves no matter where we are, whether it's Ring of Honor or Japan or the independent scene or WWE or NXT or ABC or it doesn't matter what I say. You know what I'm saying? Anywhere we end up, we're entertaining, we're great wrestling, we're the total package, not Lex Luger, but another total package. A, a different total package. A completely package. Different. Exactly, okay. exactly. Now, you guys are, I would say, the best cruiserweights or X Division wrestlers in okay. today's generation. Right. Okay. Former X Division champions. Yes. Both held them with honor, prestige. Sure. Giving us great matches. Always. What do you guys kind of have to say for the cruiserweight division around the world in general? Does it get the respect it deserves? I think so. I think to the point, I think people respect it so much that I don't think cruiserweight is even used anymore. Mm. Like, no one really calls anyone a cruiserweight anymore. Wrestling, Especially wrestling, man. Yeah. I appreciate all types of wrestling. It doesn't matter the size of the guy doing it. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't really like... I like the Label. fact that you could see somebody like Rey Mysterio mm -hmm. wrestle somebody like The Undertaker. I think that's what makes pro wrestling cool. You know, you could never could have seen Mike Tyson fight Sugar Ray Leonard because it doesn't happen. But in pro wrestling, you got that. It's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. And that's what's great about pro wrestling. So I, and I definitely don't like to put labels on, on myself or any of my colleagues that may be smaller or my size because mm -hmm. I think we can go in there and handle ourselves with anybody. So. Okay, so, so it's not about limits, Absolutely it's not. about no limits. Breaking those limits, breaking new, new boundaries. Well, wrestling it is, man. Yeah, we don't, put, yes. we, we don't label ourselves. We okay. wrestle the biggest, the smallest, the heaviest, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's, that's pro wrestling for us. And um, like I said, I feel like cruiserweight is sort of a dated term. No one really says cruiserweights anymore. So, I mean, Except for him. well, he just did. Right. But I'm trying to tell him no one else is saying it. So maybe he'll get the I'm picture. I was trying to help you out. I was trying trying to, apparently, you didn't okay. get the memo. It's OK. It's all right. I, I, don't get, I don't get the wrestling newsletters anymore. I I, okay. but, I'll you know. tell Doug Mitchell to get your, uh, your, uh, your address, okay. and he'll get you a new subscription going. All right. Now, the last question. What can I do to get one of those Bad Influence t-shirts? Because well, they look awesome. Um, if you reach into your wallet and look, there should be some paper with pictures of Andrew Jackson on them. Okay. Uh, if you give me an Andrew Jackson portrait, I'll be happy to find you a shirt that fits you. And remember, the smaller the shirt, the bigger you look. So, Husky Toddler. And if you find one of those uh, notes with a picture of Sam Jackson on it, I'll give you two shirts. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay, so. Or if you do 1,000 push-ups right now, I'll give you one. There we go. Okay, 1,000 push-ups without stopping. Push -ups. Okay. With him on your back. With the with, ultimate with warrior on your back. Him on my back. Warrior, okay. 1,000 push-ups. Uh, is there a time limit or just all day? Before you pass out. Yes. Before I pass out. Okay. Okay, if you, so. And if you do pass out, you owe us both a t-shirt. Yeah. Not this the, one, though. Not this one? Okay. No. Okay, well. We'll figure it out. Yes. Right, we'll figure it out. Okay. See you sometime in the future. Yep. Thank you, You're Christopher welcome. Daniels, Frankie Kazarian, Bad Influence. Yes, we are. Thank you. You guys can check out, what was the name of the comic again? I forgot. Oh, Christopher yep. Daniels and Kazarian. Wrestle Aw oh Yeah Comics, available at awyeahcomics.com. Yep. You heard it from them. You did. You thanks, for ha thanks for having us, guys. Thanks yep. for giving me the opportunity. Thanks for being had. Yep. yep. Thank you, brother, brother. Thank you for enjoying the con. Yes.